architecture. I'm an engineering student. Graphic design, computer designs. I'm planning to either study film or video or graphic design. I've wanted to be an engineer since I can't remember when. Hi, how are you? Hi. What school? Cooper Union. Uh, engineering. Engineering. It's a certificate saying that you have a full scholarship to the Cooper Union. Every fall, a new group of young men and women enter Cooper Union's freshman class, driven by a passion for learning. I'm in love with technology in general. I'm interested in research and mechanical engineering. I know I want to be an artist for the rest of my life. And, uh, you know, knowing that, I figured that Cooper Union is the best school for me. For seven generations, Cooper students received full tuition scholarships. Without a full tuition scholarship, I wouldn't be at art school. Without a full tuition scholarship, I wouldn't be fulfilling my dreams. I think it's one of the best architecture schools in the United States. Well, I was the only one for engineering to go here in the past like five years from my school, so it's pretty tough. I'd study my you know, butt off. <laughs> Students come to Cooper Union from New York and every part of America to be a part of an extraordinary academic tradition which goes back nearly 150 years. My name is Dennis Kong, uh, School of Engineering. The whole year I waited for the um, envelope to come in to see if I got accepted or not. The pressure, the stress, and when I got in, everyone in my family, including we all screamed. It was so, such a good feeling. The college was founded in 1859 by inventor, entrepreneur, and philanthropist Peter Cooper. Despite humble beginnings and little formal education, he believed education was the key to the future of a better world. When Peter Cooper established Cooper Union, it was a radical new model of higher education. The existing model didn't have a place for people who grew up like he did. People who grew up as poor immigrants, who had incredible talent and ability, but who didn't have uh, resources to, to go to college. By nurturing young talent in art, architecture, engineering, and public service, Cooper Union has consistently produced creative leaders for a rapidly changing world. Today, with professors and students that are second to none, the Cooper Union is committed to providing the best studios, laboratories, and classrooms so crucial to a 21st century education. What's needed is an innovative reinvention of a space for learning, a master plan for the future. The buildings involved in our master plan are all located right here at Cooper Square. Uh, on the left is the residential building designed by Charlie Guathme that will provide uh, uh, revenues uh, for the school. The, right in the center is the foundation building, which is one of New York's grand monuments. On the right, the two-story Hewitt building. The master plan involves the construction of a nine-story academic building on this site. Behind the foundation building is the engineering building. The linchpin of the master plan is the construction of a state-of-the-art teaching facility, which will provide the educational and technological underpinnings needed to teach America's brightest young people. To create this building, Cooper Union chose the internationally acclaimed architect Tom Main of California-based Morphosis. We became very early on interested in the relationship between um, the uh, the school as a place that develops creative capital, creative energy, and New York and its energy. Imbued with what the New York Times called its spirit of social optimism, the building will reinvigorate the community, displaying its faith in the transformative power of technology and its enthusiasm for the energy of New York. One of the opportunities that presented itself here was um, a, uh, to, to recombine certain issues in a new way having to do with the relationship of the site and the program. Uh, there are lots of changes taking place 
uh, in curricula in all three disciplines. For example, in robotics, you have electrical engineers, mechanical engineers, uh, chemists, uh, biological scientists working together collaboratively. One of the things we talked about through the whole process was where are we 10 years from now, where are we 30 years from now. The boundaries between traditional disciplines are becoming less rigid. A flexible approach to meeting the needs of an evolving curriculum can be seen in the large interior spaces designed to encourage collaboration and interaction between the disciplines. It's going to go back to the, the, the redefinition of the social space because what we were interested in doing having to do with the connectivity of art, engineering, and architecture was to um, um, intensify the human contact. Groundbreaking for the academic building is planned for early 2006. To realize this ambitious plan and ensure the continuity of Peter Cooper's dream, the college will raise $120 million over the next five years. Cooper Union attracts some of the most gifted, most talented young people in the country. And it's, I believe that, that I have an absolute and unequivocal responsibility to ensure that those young people have the kinds of resources and the kinds of facilities that are necessary to, to allow them to develop to their fullest potential. And not only for the current students, but for generations to come. My dream for the future would be to build a safer place so um, safer buildings so people don't have to constantly worry about them. For me, being here, the possibilities seem endless. I just want to be really self-motivated and not afraid of anything. It's learning how to be a true artist and how to think about your art, uh, how to think about your artwork as opposed to just making it. I want to develop a good artificial intelligence algorithm, like a Terminator-like AI, something like that. I'd like to be an entrepreneur just like Peter Cooper was.